Good morning and welcome to another Tech Edu Tips. Again, I'm publishing these in Spanish and English. Uh, for many months I was doing this in just Spanish because I had uh, more people watching them and then there was a request to do both Spanish and English. So that's what I'm doing now. If you're interested in learning some Spanish or practicing your Spanish, you can watch the Spanish videos which come out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The English versions come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. All right, so um, lots of educators are dealing with working on their own computers and their hard drives are filling up and they need to know what's using all my hard drive space. So Chris Hoffman over on How To Geek uh, writes excellent articles. Fellow Canadian, always have to shout that out. It's a re requisite of being Canadian. Uh, four best hard drive analysis for Windows, but I'm going to talk about others. So he recommends various ones. I'm going to include all the links below. And so Winderstat is what he really likes, and, and I agree, it's a really nice system. Um, it doesn't look like a super modern website, but it's a tool. Uh, go ahead and download that and run it. And then he gives some links to some alternatives. So for Linux, he's recommending Qterstat, which is a replacement for Katerstat, and then Disk Inventory or Grand Perspective for Mac. So I'll keep those links below. Haven't used a Mac in years. Uh, I don't think I ever used this one, but I do remember using this one when I had a MacBook. And then for Linux, it's Qter Stat. I'll show that to you here in a second. And then I will flip over to my Windows Virtual Machine and I'm gonna run Windows Stat and have it analyze my C disk. And you can see that it just starts running and it's going to be analyzing the C disk. While we're doing that, I'll mention, uh, go ahead and check out my webpage at kenbauer.me. You can follow me on Twitter, Flickr, GitHub, YouTube, Instagram. I'm also on Facebook and some other places. Uh, really active on Twitter. That's where you want to find me. And then what else did I want to mention? I think that's about it. Let me go back and see how this is running. There, it's finished. So now we can see where all our stuff is, is eating up our disk space. This isn't really that interesting because I don't use this Windows machine that very much. It's just a virtual machine running on top of my Linux. What I will show you is if I run uh, Qter stat, which is the equivalent here on my Linux machine, I've got a bunch of different disks. And in particular, most of my data is stored on Mount Data Ken Bauer. Uh, good tip for people running Linux is to keep your data files on a separate drive. Then if you want to reinstall Linux for whatever reason to change distributions, your data is just on a separate drive. So you can see that the bulk of my files are in median storage, like 299 gigs. Most a uh, big chunk of that is videos and teaching and the podcast I was doing, uh, just a catch-all Mac desktop stuff directory. Uh, you can see in documents, and here's where it's interesting. I've got 83, almost 84 gigs of Zoom directory. And that's, that's my videos. It's the videos, the recordings that are done, local recordings on my machine. And then I upload them so my students can see them. But that's probably hitting a lot of educators, that their drive is filling up with all of these Zoom videos. Not everyone has, like, literally six terabytes of disk space on their machine. I'm using a desktop machine. I'm a nerd. I've got lots of space. Lots of people are working on laptops, and they have to suffer with dealing with um, that their disk is filling up. So that's the video for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want to uh, be alerted to whenever things are coming in. And more important, send me recommendations. What do you want to see for videos to help you out? Have an excellent day and have an excellent weekend.